is a major victory for India on the cards. It appears that Xi Jinping has kneeled. The Chinese president has been forced to remove the army commander who created the border rift with India. The Indian Army and the People's Liberation Army of China are slated to hold high-level military talks on Saturday amidst the ongoing standoff along the line of actual control. Lieutenant General rank officers from both sides will meet each other at the Chinese side of the disputed Chushul Moldo border point. The stakes are high as it is for the first time that the two sides have gone beyond established protocols to deploy such high-level officers. And China is already on the back foot as it has replaced the army commander for its Western Theatre Command ground forces responsible for handling the Sino-India border. Lieutenant General Xu Qiling has been appointed as the new commander. Now the question arises. Why would China sack the man who oversaw Chinese aggression in eastern Ladakh region and that too ahead of the all-important co-commander level meeting? Reasons can be many and all of them show that Xi Jinping, the Chinese president and the functional commander of the PLA has blinked ahead of the meeting with India. The Sino-India tensions are heightened today because of Chinese actions and it was the PLA that initiated the scuffles and face-offs in Sikkim and Ladakh. It was again the PLA which flew helicopters and fighter jets near the LAC apart from amassing troops and weaponry like artillery guns and combat infantry vehicles along the LAC. India, however, kept matching up to this Chinese build-up. It is well known that PLA is firmly in Xi Jinping's grip and therefore aggressive posturing of the level that was witnessed last month couldn't simply be a fallout of local tussles due to differing perceptions of the LAC. PLA's posturing was definitely organized and implemented at higher levels to warn India perhaps about the repercussions of strengthening ties with the US. For all we know, the relentless Chinese aggression has not been able to achieve its goals. At a local level, Beijing wants to stall the construction of the winding 255km Darbuk Shuk Dolat Beg Oli Road. This road will allow the Indian Army to easily access its last military post south of the Karakoram Pass. China was opposing the construction of this road because once completed, this road will allow India to put retaliatory pressure on the PLA at the Karakoram Pass, the Chipchap River area, Trig Heights, Hot Springs, Galwan and the Depsang Plains. China wants to make the Dolat Beg Oldi sector inaccessible for India. In order to achieve its ambitions of connecting Tibet with Pakistan-occupied Gilgit-Baltistan. But India didn't relent and the political as well as the military establishment made it clear that there will be no hiatus in road building along the Sino-India border. It is very much possible that the Chinese commander has been sacked because he could not build enough pressure on India as India matched up to Chinese build-up and kept developing its infrastructure despite PLA's attempts to block it. Another reason why Xi Jinping replaced the ground forces commander could be that he is simply scapegoating the PLA commander. Beijing has been given a bloody nose and why would the Chinese side want to admit that it was the Chinese president who brought on them this embarrassment? It is far more convenient to pin the blame on the sacked commander. Xi Jinping also knows that this meeting will be watched closely internationally. China has already drawn a lot of flag for showing aggression in eastern Ladakh as the tussle has been seen through the prism of the Chinese belligerents in South China Sea, its attempt to deflect attention from Hong Kong, Taiwan and Beijing's irresponsible conduct during the COVID-19 pandemic. If PLA messes up at the co-commander meeting, then it will be China that will have to face even greater global backlash. Thus, Xi Jinping would want a man who can ensure that China sails through with a practical solution at this high-level meeting. The president is playing his cards very carefully because he knows that any commander who is incapable of representing the PLA at this meeting with India could put China in still greater trouble. Beijing also fears the prospect of the situation in the LAC going out of control. Ever since the 1962 Sino-India War, China has followed the policy of threatening and bullying India to have its way. But this time, Beijing met with an increasingly assertive New Delhi. Now, Xi Jinping doesn't want a hot-headed commander failing to defuse the situation. 
Either way, it is Beijing which is on the back foot and changing its strategy ahead of the crucial meetings. Going into the co-commander level meeting between India and China, it is advantage New Delhi.